Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andy Hankinson and I work for the Lancashire Wildlife Trust and today I thought I'd take you on a guided virtual tour of one of our sites which is Little Walden Moss, one of our very rare lowland raised peat bogs. Now Little Walden Moss is only about 30 minutes from Greater Manchester City Centre which makes it a fantastic spot for anyone in these urban areas to come and explore and get connected with nature. Let's go take a look. So from the paths around Little Walden Moss you might be able to see pools much like this one which contains sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss is one of our keystone species and it actually helps, well, creates the peat that peatlands are made of. What else you can see within the shot is actually common cotton grass, which is now coming to the end of its flowering season, but it's also another key species for our peatlands. Some of the other plant species you might come across if you visit Little Walden Moss are hare's tail cotton grass, which is this one in front of me, and also cross-leaved teeth, which is this one just here. Now this is part of the heather family and it has this fantastic lovely pink flower. Flowers quite early and is an important nectar source for invertebrates. As recently as 2017 there were still some areas of Little Walden Moss that were subject to peat extraction and this of course was destroying this very valuable and fragile habitat and really stopping it from functioning as a proper ecosystem. Um, since then we've been working very hard as the Trust to try and restore this site to a functioning lowland raised peat bog. What you can see behind me is uh, a raised network of peat walls, or what we call buns. The reason we create these is that it helps us to control the hydrology of the site, trapping the rainwater, because this is an ombrotrophic site, it's rain fed, which will help re-wet the site as a whole, which is super important for peatland restoration. What you can also see behind me is some examples of bog oaks, which are very cool and been unearthed through some of this work that we've done. So some of the other things you might see on Little Walden Moss around your walk is one of our ancient bog oaks, which is what I'm currently sat on just now. I'm actually sharing it with one of our little toad friends just down here. It actually makes a perfect place for him to hide. You can see the coloration is completely camouflages in. Now these bog oaks are incredibly old. They can date back to the last ice age, which makes them as old as maybe 10,000 years old. The reason that they preserve so well is that the bog itself creates these very acidic and oxygen poor or anaerobic conditions. And what we do is we unearth them when we're doing works and we end up just putting them out on site for people to enjoy. So if you are walking around Little Walden Moss, you might actually come across these things here. And now what these are, these are big plastic piles and we put these in the ground as ditch blocks, which again help us con to control that hydrology. They help retain the rainwater. You can see it working just behind me. And we know it's working not just because there's rainwater, which we can see, but also because it's that important sphagnum moss starting to colonize on the edges, which is exactly what we want to see in the restoration process. As we have restored the site, what we've actually ended up doing is creating a more valuable habitat, not only for us as a recreational source, but actually for wildlife as well. We've increased its biodiversity, if you will, created a suitable habitat for a number of different species. If you do visit site, you might actually find yourself seeing some of these things, like um, we have bird species such as curlews or and yellow wagtails, particularly in summertime. You might see hobbies which are a fantastic raptor, uh, and even merlins as well visit the site. We also have invertebrates, uh, such as small tortoise shell, small copper, we have emperor dragonflies, common darters, banded damoiselles are locally known as well, and also much smaller critters like leafhoppers or bogbush crickets, and even common lizards are on site. You might see them along the fence line basking on an early summer's day. What you may also see is a swoop of swifts uh, flying over some of the bodies of open water, hawking for some of the many insects that they find and predate on. Little Warden Moss is not just only a rare lowland raised peat bog, the site itself is actually made up of a mosaic of other valuable habitats. Habitats such as scrubby woodland, which is important for the critically endangered willow tit, which we happen to have on site. Equally, we have areas of lowland heath, which is a UK bat priority habitat, which is fantastic for bird life as well as invertebrates. So if you do find yourself visiting Little Walden Moss, we'd kindly ask you to keep to the paths for a couple of really important reasons. One, as you can see behind me, there's some really wet, deep ditches and boggy areas, which are very dangerous. And if you can keep disturbance down to a very minimum for those very, very special species. Some of the areas of Little Walden Moss aren't as far along on their restoration journey. And we have areas still that have uh, expanses of bare peat, which is a result of previous peat extraction on site. Now what we've been doing to restore the site is to revegetate and replant it with the right bog species. And in only a few years time, we'll see a really positive change to the site as a whole. 
So that brings us to the end of our virtual tour of Little Walden Moss. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tour and either feel inspired to visit or that you've learned something new about these very rare and special habitats. We think our peatlands are completely amazing and they are of course a globally important carbon store which is critical for our fight in the battle against climate change. Now, although we think this ourselves, this wasn't the general consensus back in 1726 from one Daniel Defoe, who said, and I quote, The surface at a distance looks black and dirty. What nature meant by such a useless production, it is hard to imagine, but the land is entirely waste. I'd like to think that this virtual tour has shown you that that is definitely not the case. And there are a whole host of important ecosystem benefits for this site, and so that's exactly what we think as well. Hopefully, you'll come and visit us soon, but for now, that's bog out.